Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of FPL. My name is DeadM5337, and we are continuing on our mission to the Zoltan Homeworlds. You've entered Zoltan's territory. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured for a fair hearing. Uh, that, and they also are well known for their war with the Mantis. Being in a Mantis ship, things are expected to be trouble. You watch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from Space Station. Before the sensors shut off, you unexpectedly... <laughs> Mm. You unexpectedly, as you discover that the sensors are being jammed, you hear hostiles beam onto your ship. Intruders! Until you're able to jump away the hostiles from the space station, your sensors will be disabled. Deal with the boarders first, though. Continue. Well, that that's perfectly fine. Ooh. That was not cool. Okay. So not cool. So not cool. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. That was rough. That was rough. We don't have sensors and we don't have doors upgraded. <sighs> Making things way rougher than they have to be. All right. Come on. Heal up. Come on, Allison. Good job. Everybody back to your stations. All right, jump. We don't see a store. Let's visit here because it lights up more area. All right. You arrive at the Zoltan Research Facility. Yes! And... They say they are researching genetic distortions due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew have time to ungro undergo scans. Uh, the damaged station pod ask if they can fix this. Interesting. We've never seen a cryogenic system like this. It appears to still be functioning. They hook it up to their system and run a number of tests on it. Remove damaged station pod. Continue. Amazing. It has the ability to reconstruct the body if it was damaged during transit. Watch. They recon reactivate the pod, and you watch as the hunks of crystal inside reform to build a humanoid structure. The pod slides open and reformed alien steps out. Continue. It speaks slowly. Greetings. I appear to be in your debt. My people isolated themselves long ago, but perhaps it's time to reestablish connection. There's a hidden wormhole near the Rock Homeworlds. Perhaps you can take me there so I can properly repay you? Rowan! Oh my goodness, this is... Oh, the Crystal Quest. Oh my goodness, and we're only in World 3. That's fantastic. All right, so we're going to put the crystal person in the doors, which will, because it's there, upgrade the doors. If they try to go and break into the doors, we can lock down the doors. <laughs> That's about it. But. It is something. All right, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Let's let's look at our ship and see if we can upgrade some things. 
We don't have any spot. We don't have really much spots for people. We have one person, one spot for uh, people left. So. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So we upgraded our engines. So our Dodge is now 30. Which, I mean, isn't, isn't great, but it's better. All right. Let's travel through the nebula just because then we can go and hit basically all these places. And hopefully get the Zoltan quest. Because then maybe we can get Zoltan shields. Which are fantastic. Inside the nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On the surface of the huge mammoth, visible in the distance, even to your naked eye. A Zoltan elder hails you from the planet. Though through luck or intent, you have discovered the great eye. Look into its depths and res receives your d deserts. Pull the ship in closer. You approach the planet carefully, trying to keep your ship from breaking up in the orbit. The mammoth, whatever it is, must sense as much because the next thing you know, you ha have enough scrap to patch up your damage and more besides. Fantastic. Free scrap is nice. The nebula turns out to be a hiding place of a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem to be they don't seem prepared to risk you leaving with their coordinates. Open fire. Continue. Yay. Alright, let's do that. They don't have a med bay, so we're going to just teleport into the O2. Are you guys literally just going to let me take out your O2? All right. Ooh. Kirkner, come on. You find a weapon system in the ship with no crew to stop you. You can install it on your own. Fire beam. Fantastic. Why are you getting beat up so much? Kirkner, I mean, you're almost done. Johnson's maxed out on fighting skills, but Kirkner, you're almost done. Come on. All right. Onwards. You can't see anything through the thick uh, through the thick gases surrounding your ship. Without knowing what is out there, all you can do is wait for the FTL to recharge. All right. Boom. The Mantis outcasts sometimes make the mistake of taking the Zoltan as easy game. A scout moves in to attack while boarding party seems to board the transport. Continue. Um, okay. Uh. No! Son of a biscuit. All right, get over here. Vent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Do I have to pause you guys? Give me just a minute. All right, I am back. Sorry about that. That was my other work. Well, that was my work. You know, the one that I actually get paid for. All right. Uh, we're. right. I'm not going to do any other things until I unpause it. Just because, you know, don't want to cheat. But, you know, woohoo. All right, unpause. There we are. All right. Just get over here. All right, no more life forms, dear Lord. Uh, we had a bad time. There was bad time. Not paying attention, bad time. Come on. All right, everybody gets back to being healed. Everybody go back to your stations. And we have an issue. We don't have a pilot anymore. Our pilot died. Um, of the things that are important, I think we're going to put you into weapons, you into engines. And we're going to save you there. Jump. Oh, thank goodness, a store. Uh, Mantis crew here have hunkered down in the abdomen of a large, of a long dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look. All right. So. We're going to get rid of the fire beam. Screw that. Bye. Drone control. Drone control will stop the missiles. With the missiles stopped, we will have taken less damage. We wouldn't have taken any damage. So we're going to... Are we really going to buy drone control? Yes. So we're going to buy drone control and we're going to waste the rest on repairing the ship and we're going to limp our way. Jump back into the nebula. Cycle through a wide band of comm signals and soon to arrive nothing but static. Continue. Forward. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is Zoltan Peace Envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding. We rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. Hear them out. They continue. We take your silence for interest. Interested contemplation. 
They talk at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. Continue. They finish. Please spread the word of enlightenment to those who have not heard. Once you have contacted our brethren, they will... Once you have contact our brethren, they transport coordinates of their so-called brethren. Continue. All right, so we need to make it to that quest. Don't care that there's a store. We're not actually doing anything at the store. We're just kind of going by. Oh, this is nice. Not, uh, nothing of value that we can actually do. To the quest. All right. Please roll high. You arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan, but the only thing nearby is the rebel ship. Closing in fast. We found you. We're not letting... We're not getting away... You're not getting away this time. Ha <laughs> ha. Attempt to hail them. You open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The, re the rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete, obsolete federation. Perhaps we could reconcile our deals without war. Um, uh, unity is the only option. Surrender, wake of destruction. Yeah, without war. Our ideals are too different. It is too easy uh, to be easily to be so easily reconciled. You think you could end what anyway but war? The galaxy is huge. You can find a place your ideal is elsewhere without causing destruction. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Boop. Suddenly, all indicators of the rebel ship fade away, and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. Continue. Although your methods are crude and most certainly inefficient, it is clear that you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid you in your fight. This technology should aid you on your quest. Yes! Zoltan Shield. Fantastic. That is awesome. Woohoo! The Zoltan Quest. And if I didn't have the Zoltan Ship, that would unlock the Zoltan Ship. That is the important part. This right here. The Zoltan Shield. Nothing breaks through the Zoltan Shield. You have to literally break it, break it down. Lasers, ions, missiles, all of them hit the Zoltan shield first. Five points of damage. Perfect. Great. I love it. Um, it's a waste of fuel, but we are going to visit back to the store to repair. Jump. <clears throat> okay. So I can hit this one and then the exit. So we're going to. You jump just in time to witness the Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload in the final moments. They implore you not to get involved, but it's too late. Their attacker is already upon you. Continue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fire them both. Ooh. Come on, can't get them out of sync. There goes my Zoltan shields. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Oh. 
Oh, bugger me. Uh, give me just a second. All right, I am back and we are recording again. Yay. Okay. I'm pause and what the heck are we at? Um, yes. Uh, teleport. Yay. Base laser. There you are. There we go. We're going to bring these back in the sink a little bit. Boom. There we are. Come on, keep on fighting. Keep on winning. Uh, gosh darn it. All right. Here you be engineer you can be our new boarding party all right there all right there we go all aboard because i took too long all right, what's crew, Dad? You're able to go and get the fuel and storage and scrap all that you manage. Yes. Oh, dear Lord. I am screwed. All right, station saved. You guys, get over here and heal up. Back to location. Jump. To the exit. I kept messing up, messing up, messing up. <clears throat> you arrive at the long range beacon when the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Continue. A ship with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message, claiming to have equipment for sale. Uh, attack them before they can attack. Continue. Yes. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. Drone. Drone, defense drone. All right, we don't really care about that. We're just going to teleport right there into the O2. All right, now that the ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search and eventually find a prisoner who wants to join your crew. Yay! Good job, all right. Teleport back, go over there and heal. You, Brock, are you good at anything? No, you're not good at a gosh darn thing. Get over there into the weapons. Oh, well, phooey. Heal. <clears throat> Come on. Finish healing. Finish healing. Finish healing. Finish healing, healing, healing. All right. Back over here. Fantastic. Station saved. Jump. All right. So next time we're going into rock controlled. That's fantastic, but we won't find the rock home world, so we won't unlock the crystal. Booey. Because rock home world is hostile, and there is no more hostile after this. All right. Well, that being said, it's been an interesting uh, recording session. Lots of phone calls from work to go and bother everything. Uh, some terrible losses on people and some interesting gains on people. So, hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please be sure to go and like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun things. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.